Good morning from Disney's Animal Kingdom, y'all. I'm getting kind of hungry already. So um, you know what? We're gonna go to the Santulli's Canteen first because I have been craving those cheeseburger pods. I haven't had those in a while. So I want, I'm definitely want that. I'll show you some snacks, show you some of the different merchandise that they have here. And let's just go and enjoy ourselves and have a blessed day. But first, let's go see if my Aunt Anger's over here. I got here a little bit later, so I don't know if he, he or she is gonna be out. I'm not sure. All right, I'll leave you alone. You're probably tired. You wanna enjoy yourself too as well. All right, let's make our way over to Santuli's Canteen because I am starving. And there's the Tree of Life. You know, every time I come around the corner here, the song, the circle of life, plays through my head every time I see this tree. I don't know why, but that's just my thought here. I always have that song going on through my head. Welcome to the world of Pandora. Flight of Passion's got a 60 minute wait and then Navi River Journey has got a 50 minute wait. These two are like the longest rides in the park here. Give you guys a little glimpse of it here. I love the way this looks. This looks really, really nice. They did a great job on the theming of this place. I love it. All right, over here at the Centuli Canteen, I got the cheeseburger fries. I forgot it came, I mean cheeseburger pods, not fries. I forgot it came with uh, coleslaw and it has like boba balls on top. See, look at that. Man, that still looks delicious. My wife doesn't care for it because inside it has like um, mustard and uh, I think ketchup, everything all mixed together in it. And she wasn't a big fan of it. These uh, chips are really good though. All right, I'm just gonna bite right into the cheeseburger pod and show you what it looks like. This is it right here. They also have to make it in a kid's meal as well, but I got the, um, the adult one. Mm. So good. Oh, just like I remembered. Here's a little bit of the inside right here. Look at that. Damn, that is so good. I was gonna use my um, tripod for this, but I figured I can hold it with one hand and eat with the other. Here's some of the slaw. Um, I got a couple strings of it and some bubble balls on top. That's good. It's different because the bubble balls, I don't know, it tastes like a peach to me or something. I got like a peachy flavor. Here's the chips. Good, good. One thing I like about the chips, they have a seasoning on them. I don't know what seasoning it is, but the seasoning is good because I don't like plain chips, but with the seasoning on it, I do like it. Um, here's another look inside the cheeseburger pod. Um, it's supposed to have like mustard and stuff, I think all mixed in it, and my wife was not crazy about that. But me, I like it. It's, it's worth it. Worth the price. It was like, um, I think it was, what's the total here? I don't remember now. I think it was like $13 for this and $3 for the water, but not bad. Plus I'm starving, so. All right guys, now do we finish this? Uh, we'll, 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 head, we'll make our way over to um, Expedition Everest. You know, that's the only, there's not many spots here in Disney where you can do um, single rider besides like Test Track and I know uh, Expedition Everest has it. We'll see how long that is because sometimes single rider can be just as long as the standby line. But if it's not too long, we'll go on it. And why not? Guys, because I'm here by myself, the single rider lane is like pretty much a walk-on. There's like nobody even here. Yeah, yeah, I'm right up here already. Oh, that's good. Well, guys, I got this whole cart right here to myself. Huh. Megan walked right up and got on. This is a hard part, trying to hold on to everything with one hand. Wow, look at that view.
guys, that was fun as always. It was actually only a 15 minute wait for the ride, but I went in standby and that was a walk on. I got right on. That's freaking awesome. I love that. Man, I almost want to ride it again. But uh, let's go get some dessert here. Guys, I'm gonna order this, the cold brew coffee ice cream flow. It's Joffrey's Coffee's French Rose cold brew with haagen vanilla ice cream. That sounds really good. It is so hot outside, just walking with this. Look how much it has melted already. I haven't even got a chance to try it yet. Just looking for a place to sit and uh, review this. All right, guys, I'm gonna give it a try here. Woo, that vanilla roast is strong. Actually, with the ice cream, it's not that bad. Oh yeah, I just got a mouthful of ice cream. Well, that makes a big difference in the drink. I've had their regular vanilla roast, but I've never had it with the, you know, of course, obviously with the ice cream. But man, that is really good. I like this. Huh, my straw was sticking to the ice cream there. Yeah, that's really good. But I'm telling you, it melts really fast because it's so hot out here. Wow, I like that a lot. And you know, I don't usually don't put cream or sugar in my stuff, but because the vanilla ice cream anyway makes it so sweet already. Well, I wanted something sweet and I wanted coffee, so I got the best of both worlds here. So I'm happy I got this. Over here at Discovering Trading Post, they have these new Dooley and Burke bags. Look at these, these things are nice. I don't like to move these around because they have like alarms on them. It'll set it off. I'll show you, and then this is a new arrival here. It's like a Pirates one here. Oh no, it's Peter Pan. Oh, that's pretty cool. There's the uh, wallet there. And there's another bag down here as well, get you a better view. I'm not gonna handle them because when my wife handles these things and you try to move them around, like I said, the alarm goes off on them. They have a bunch of the Halloween bags here, Jai Skeleton. This is the one, if you watched my yesterday's video, the one I got my wife. They got the Madame Leota bag down here and some more bags here. And then some of the ears here as well. I've always liked these ears here and this one. Those are really nice. And you got the little mermaid bag here. Ursula ears here. Those are actually really nice. And then the little mermaid ears here as well. And if you like the gray stuff cupcake, which my daughter and wife do, look at this shirt. This is pretty cool. And it is delicious. That is really good. Everybody likes going nuts over this. Here's all the Hocus Pocus merch over here. I'm at the Island Mercantile. Check this out. I like this wall, Corksicle here. That's actually pretty cool. And they have some more stuff here as well. That's cool, I like how that lights up right there. And then they have some ears down here, the hats here. They always love these Crocs, but they never make them in my size. The highest I've seen them go up to is a 12. I'm a 13. I do like this hat. I say this every time I come in here. I like this hat and I like this shirt. I'm gonna have to break down and buy it. This one is actually really cool. I love the way this shirt is right here as well. I already have enough bags as it is, as it is but this is a nice bag here. Ugh, I can't even talk as it is. I can't even talk today. Look at that Mickey plushie here too as well. That's really nice. And they have these little, I think light up little pumpkins or no, they have candy. Oh, they have candy in it. Oh, that's cool. Kilimanjaro Safari says it's only a 10 minute wait. Wow, that's really short. Oh, let's go up on in. Guys, I don't think I've ever gotten on this in like 10 minutes. Holy cow, that was quick. The upper lip of this black rhino is prehensile. It's more pointed and triangular in shape. And as I mentioned, pre-crocodiles. Once we get over this bridge, it's going to be a little bit easier for us to short inside. During their dry and droughty seasons, baobab trees are an excellent source of water for animals like elephants, giraffes, and zebras. Hanging out underneath the tree, those are the African painted docks. African painted docks are some of the most successful hunters in Africa with a very dark brown animals with a very long horns. These are the sable antelope. Sable antelope are a very beautiful species of antelope. They have these long, sturdy horns that are angled backwards to a point. Works to deflect potential predators of the savanna, like lions, from jumping on their back. On both the left and right hand side as well, we are passing these black and white striped animals. These are the Hartman Mountains. These are moms and both of the babies. Oh, 
looks like a good majority of our giraffes are going to be hanging out on the left hand side. A group of giraffes just like this one is also known as a tower. Giraffes only need about 30 minutes of sleep per day they work in order to cool themselves down. Once allowing the mud to dry on their skin, it does act as a sunscreen as well as a fog repellent. Mud can help to keep their very sensitive skin safe. Change direction. Looks like we're going to be good to scoot right past her. We can tell that, these, that this ostrich is each other. Or climbing on top of structures in their environment. The sun goes goats to mature. As they mature, they are raised for dairy production. Their milk is used for products like goat milk and goat cheese. All right, guys, over here at Trello Bites, Trello Bites, that's the place over there. I got the golden margarita. Now, my wife's more of a fan of these type of drinks than I am, but we'll give it a try. I, I'm not a big fan of a lot of salt, and there's salt all over the rim, but let's give it a try. Oh, wow. You know, this is the second time I've gotten one from here. I don't like margaritas, but for some reason, at this place over here, it's really good. I like the taste of it. It's kind of like dark over here. Sorry about that. But yeah, man, I'm really liking the taste of these margaritas. Usually I have a margarita, I don't like them. But this is just my second one I've gotten from here and it's really good. Oh yeah, I could down that in like two seconds. That's dangerous. I don't even really taste the alcohol in it. But yeah, all in all, really good. And she actually ID'd me, it made me feel really good. <laughs> I haven't been ID'd in years. So I thought that was kind of funny. All right, guys, I had a great day today. I showed you some food, some of the merchandise. You know, this park, if you come here later on in the afternoon around like two or three, you'll probably get a lot shorter wait times because this park closes early around seven. Everybody leaves here to go to other parks. So this is a great place to come. If you come here around, like I said, two or three, you'll get lower wait times and get on things. But anyways, guys, I had a great time, like I just said before, and um, I love y'all. Stay blessed, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.